Adam Savage from Tested here in my cave with a show and tell. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons I store things or keep things in this cave. I keep materials for using, I keep objects that are important to me from a sentimental standpoint, and occasionally, not often, but occasionally I store things just because I think they're magnificently designed. Um, this actually satisfies all three of those categories, interestingly. This was the helmet I coveted for more than a year in 1985. This was Bell's, what I remember at the time was it's Bell's first aerodynamic bicycle helmet. It was over a hundred bucks. It took me months to save up for it. Uh, and when I bought it, I used the crap out of that thing. This is not the one I had in New York in the 80s, but I had an identical one that I painted uh, and wore on the streets of New York, riding 10 to 12 miles a day for years. And I loved this helmet. It felt good to wear, but also, it's gorgeous. Look at that line. That is, that's a great piece of industrial design. But the thing that I find most fascinating about it is that I can tell it was designed in the 80s. How? I'm actually really curious about that. I think that's a genuinely interesting industrial design question of what about this tells me it's from the 80s? I mean, there's all sorts of things that could be manufacturing artifacts of the radius of some of the pieces, the kind of tooling that they would have used then as opposed to now. Um, the fact that this is a thin piece of injection molded plastic. I, there are such a confluence of small details that I think communicates when this was built. There's a lot of design education in unpacking why it's really clear that this was built in the 80s. Now, I carried that helmet around with me for years and ended up using it as a basis for some industrial design that I did. Uh, in 1992 or 93, I was working as an assistant for Chico McMurtry of Amorphic Robot Works down in the Bayview, building robots and animatronics, pneumatics, hydraulics. Um, and at the same time, I was doing freelance art design, art direction, production design, and I was doing the sets and costumes for a dance production at the College of Marin called Who's Afraid of the Dark? I actually did that production two years in a row. Uh, and one of the years, we needed 10 reptilian-style helmets for dancers. And we had zero money. We had no money at all for budget. So I had to figure out a way to make 10 lightweight helmets that dancers could wear. It had to be lightweight because they got to move a lot and they can't wear, have a lot of torque on their necks. And I chose this as the basis for that. Um, Chico McMurtry of Amorphic Robot Works had built uh, a functioning vacuum form machine that was the first vacuum form machine I ever operated and utilized. It was two by two feet, and I decided to make the dancer's helmets using the Bell helmet as the basis. This is an unpainted version of one of those dancer's helmets, and I'll explain how I got this from this. Um, what Chico was really interested in was vacuform form as a way of adding dimension to his robots and in a, as a way of adding lots of variegation in the vacuum forms he was using, he was utilizing a lot of wet water-based clay on top of the buck... That's probably not very important. He was using water-based clay on top of the bucks he was forming over. So this is my buck. And I was adding this spine, like H.R. Giger's Alien or David Warner's helmet from Time Bandits. I was adding these details on top of each helmet, vacuuming over. It would flatten some of the clay. I would start heating up the plastic and mold another one and form it. And I made all ten helmets on this, uh, on one of these original uh, Bell helmets. Um, this one I saved for myself and I did not paint it because I love how it looks clear. Um, to make the inside, I simply filled the void of the helmet with clay and a shape that fit my head. And this is what the dancers wore. It weighs almost nothing. I think it's like three and a half ounces. Um, perfect for dancers. And the first vacuform project I ever did. That's my show and tell and I'm sticking to it.